190 grains here at Mash Kings. Um, H4831SC. Once fired Hornady Brass. Federal match primers, 210. We're going to start the test at 65.2 grains. And we'll work up in five, uh, five tenths of a grain increment. Uh, all the way up to 69.8. 66.8 should give us our barrel time, our optimal barrel time. Me, 1.520 milliseconds. We should get out of that. We should get 27, 24 feet per second. 65.2 is up first. All right. So I'm not gonna believe this, but. Uh, I just got four in the same hole and then one just beside it. It's going to be interesting to, to measure that shot group that obviously might be my, my load. So that was the 65.2 grains averages for that one, 27, 99, 17 and seven shot group looks to like, looks to be about less than an inch average for 66.2 is 21, excuse me, 28, 15, 21, and eight. Okay, for 66.8, we're looking at 28, 32, 13, and six. 69.2, again, two didn't read, but with the three that did, extreme spread of 26, standard deviation of 11, uh average is 28.99 um group is not what i'm wanting anyway so all right so the last one the 69.8 29 37 50 and 17. it looks like that first one the 65.2 good lord let's get back to that one let's review that real quick so it had a uh, 2781, 27 extreme spread, and 10 standard deviation. The shot group, the, the shot group was insane. Um, yeah, the shot group was insane. So <laughs> I'll probably end up loading that up and checking it out. But anyway, I'm gonna pack up and get home. Hey guys, today is the 2nd of February. I did this test two days ago on the 31st of January. This test gave us a baseline for what we were looking for. Um, truth be told, I have already shot my next test, but I'm going to tell you what it is right now, and then you can see the results. 65.2, 65.8, 66.2, 66.8, et cetera, et cetera. All the way up to what I was looking for was some kind of a, an area to focus in on that had the accuracy I wanted, which for me, I wanted edge to edge under an inch. That's measuring edge from one bolt hole to edge the next bolt hole under one inch. I also wanted an extreme spread of less than five or less extreme spread and a standard deviation of 10 or less, preferably in the single digits. Two days ago when I did this test, I found three loads that were interesting, right? And that was 65.2, 65.8, and 66.2. The reason why I found those interesting is because they were all roughly about an inch, okay, on average. This one was uh, three quarters of an inch, edge to edge. And this one was one inch, edge to edge. And this one was just over an inch, okay? What I really was focused on here, though, was the uh, extreme spread and standard deviation. So the extreme spread for each one of these was 27, 26, and 21.
Then the standard deviation for each one of these was 10, 11, and eight. So I was like, it's, it's wanting to find something within this range of 65.2 to 66.2. It was wanting to find something in that range. We already know 66.2 was no good because we had we didn't have the accuracy we wanted. Even though we had the extreme spread and the standard deviation, that was good. So I didn't want to do that one. But what I did want to do is I wanted to go one, one step below this one, so at 65. And I wanted to repeat this one, and I wanted to repeat this one. So we just went from 65 to 66 in two-tenths of a grain increments. So we went 65, 65.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0 0.8, and then 66. The results are awesome, by the way. So continue watching this, and because I've already shot this and I already know what the results are, and they are, they are great. So if you're looking to reload a 300 wind mag and use an H4831SC, and using the uh, 190 grain Sierra Match Kings, this, it might be a way for you to find your load. Now I have to tell you, I am very amateur at this. I'm very amateur at this. You know, I understand about the, the base to ogive and the overall length and you know, the grainages and, and stuff like that, right? I didn't do anything special to the brass. In fact, I used one lot of Hornady brass. I didn't, all I did was resize it. I didn't, didn't do anything special. I have is a single stage press. I'm using the large primers, obviously. Found my, I found where my lands were and that's what I used. I didn't, I didn't mess with the, the seating depth or anything of that nature. The only special equipment that I have that not a, not a lot of people have is the quick load. Now here's the, another thing though, another thing I have maybe that some people don't. I have formal sniper training through special forces. So these, these groups could have been a lot larger had I not had that formal training. Which brings me to my company. If you're looking for formal training, I can help you with your training.